What's up, guys? Finally, after a much-awaited arrival, the calculator is here, and I'm going to be showing you it right now. This is GBLAX123 here on behalf of official MLOA. Thanks to Mojang and Notch, of course. And so, basically, this calculator is the first of its kind. I've seen, a, I think, a 2- or 3-bit calculator that had a display with it, but a lot of the calculators are just binary. And if you're like the average person, you probably have no idea what the hell binary is. So, I made this very simple to understand. About 15,000 redstone was put into this. That's just an estimation, but it's pretty close. I cleared a 500 by 500 area for all the space. And I did something different. There's um, People say that 300 by 300 is the limit, but it's actually s like around 600 by 600 because I placed myself right here in the middle of the entire thing, which gave me a 300 radius to work with. So um, let me just reset this really quick. The input isn't binary, but it's a little easy to understand. It's easier to understand. Okay, so we're at the viewing station, and we got 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. So we're going to come over here to the first number, and for every torch you put down, you got to add what's above it. So if we want, let's say, 3 over here, 1 and 2 we put down. So all the way on the left, that number, after a little bit of lag, will turn into 3. And 3 plus 0 equals 3. So on the right, let's say we wanted 7. We would need 1 and 2, which is 3, plus 4 is 7. So we got 7. We got plus 3. 3 plus 7 equals 10. And it spits it all out in binary. And honestly, I've not seen any other videos like this, but I do believe... This is the first one. The first. This is the biggest binary, four bit. This is the biggest binary addition calculator that has a display with it. So I'm not aware of anybody else doing this. If I'm wrong, please feel free to correct me. But I mean, it goes up to 15 plus 15 equals 30, and um, it's very user friendly, and it's probably the biggest thing I've ever made in this game. And next to the ALU that I saw, the 32-bit ALU, this is the biggest project I've ever seen. So I'm going to warp over to Control, which is where this whole thing kind of starts. And this is massive. I will warn you right now. Every level is for each of the uh, different displays because there's a first number, a second number, and then the final result. There's a bunch of different little stations where it takes the binary, converts it to decimal, decimal converts it to seven segment. I mean, it's just a complete mass of redstone, redstone torches and wire. Like it, it's just, it's just ridiculous. I mean, honestly, it just, it took. It's like the longest thing I've ever worked on in this game. 60 hours, like I said, at least. I finally had some time over the past three snow days I've had to work on this. These are all the binary into decimal converters. Over there, the seven-segment decoder. I got that idea from Harbringer. I'm not sure his exact pronunciation of his name. I'll include his link in the uh, description. He's got some good redstone tutorials, and he's made some awesome creations. And then we got this. This is the adder itself right here. It takes the input from the control room that I was originally in. And then back here is how it all gets linked up to the display. I'm... Yeah, I can definitely say I'm not going to be making a tutorial on how to do this. A, none of you people are probably crazy enough to try this. B, it would be a 15 to 20 part series, each 15 minutes long me, of me just explaining every single part. And that really just would not be worth it. But I think like the coolest thing about this is how I incorporated my design 
so that where I was in the control room was in the absolute center of everything. So that gives me the maximum distance to control my whole redstone. Like, cause let me give you an example. I originally started with this entire display all the way over there at the start. And everything over here was over 300 away, 300 blocks. So the redstone wouldn't update unless you had somebody standing out here. So what I did was I just relocated the display board on top of everything. So it was a central location that everything was within 300 to. And that is pretty much it. I really don't know what else to say. I'll just sh guess show you guys a few more examples of the uh, adder but oh yeah by the way this is uh this little purple stuff right here is glowstone that i used because every level was pitch black because it had to be stacked on top of each other and the texture pack that i used brown and bloom has some error with glowstone but that really doesn't matter so i'll show you guys a few more examples we got 7 plus 15 which should be 22 And I really think I minimized the lag, too. The lag is not that bad at all. So we'll try 3 plus 7, which will be 10. After a little bit of lag, it ends up working, which is awesome. The only other thing I might possibly do eventually, if I want to get back into this after I make my big clock, is to make it so you can switch between addition and subtraction. But that would include a whole lot more stuff, and I would not be into doing that. So I'm really not sure yet. That's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It's definitely something that took me a lot of time, and I enjoy it myself. So if you got anything from this like comment subscribe let me know what you guys want to see i want some ideas so that's all i got peace